it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I thought I'd go ahead and show you some of the new fun stuff that I got from ColourPop. This first one, those cashew, it's by um, Tower28. So that's what I have on here. And then as far as what I have for the foundation today, I went with the Oma. This is in Fair Lady T1. And this is the one that you can get over at uh, Walmart. And so this is the Oma line that's available over there. It's actually a really good line. I like their a lot of their stuff, including their nice cinnamide um, oil. Here, I have it right here. Nice cinnamide glow lotion. And... Uh, mixing that with your um, Oma yeah, foundation. The foundation's really good. New formulas. This is really good. So really good um, drugstore brand. And it's pretty mid-range as far as price goes. And then as far as the rest of the products that I have here, um, I did go ahead and use my hun Handy Dandy Sungasm by Catrice for my setting powder. So all over everywhere. Glisten Up is by Fourth Ray. I like using it as a setting spray. It has a lot of glitter in it. Mica. And that's nice. Oh, and I used the Milani Peach for my glass. Yeah, it's a glass skin primer, so that's what I went ahead and did there. As far as the rest of it here, um, I did go ahead and use the Get Sandy, and yeah, there it is. And I'm already hitting pan on it. Uh, the bronzer from ColourPop, the Get Sandy. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's a putty formula, and it works really well for me. Uh, the shade is really good. And then as far as my blush, I went ahead and used uh, this one. It sounds great by ColourPop as well. And so that's what I have on uh, for the, yeah, for the cheeks. I also have some of the Flexitarian on as well, which is a ColourPop highlighter, really shiny bright to the sky. And then <laughs> the new stuff. So I got the Troublemaker palette from ColourPop, and yay, they did a cool tone palette. Yay, team. So, um, yeah. I think this was a much needed palette from ColourPop. Um, and so, yeah, they're just really pretty colors. As far as what I have on today, I have this one on my inner corner. Um, I have this one on my lid. I used, as far as my base, I went ahead and used this color. And then I used some of this right on the top of the brow bone. So really pretty there. Um, Maybe we can do a little bit of this because this looks like a duochrome, like right below the eyebrow. Because that just looks too pretty not to try. Okay. Oh, it is a duochrome and it goes purple. Never mind. I'm <laughs> now much more purpley, purpley, purpley than I was. And as far as going ahead, I'm doing some eyeliner on this, this ColourPop brush. Um, let's see. I think maybe I want to go with this one, the nice dark purple. And it is a shimmer, but it's a really dark shimmer. <laughs> yeah. My putting on makeup face. Isn't it just excitingly weird? Yeah. Okay. So, here's the eye look. And again, pretty, pretty. I don't think I put on any of the that could stick it by NYX. So, let's go ahead and do this part. It's kind of an 80s look, actually, to tell you the truth with all the purple and the silver. Silver and purple. Yeah. Which kind of ended up being those 90s power looks kind of things. So, yeah, it definitely is an 80s leaning look. Um, it's really pretty, though, and I like it a lot. 
And so I think this is a really good palette. I think this is one that ColourPop needed to do. Um, some of their ones that they're releasing now, like Hocus Pocus 2 and um, the Nightmare, Nightmare Before Christmas, yeah, that one. Um, they And this one, they have some really pretty darker, cool tones to them. And I think that's a really good place for ColourPop to go. And I'm really glad that I got this palette. I think it'll be great for the holidays. And um, so, yeah, thank you. And uh, I'll see you later. Have a great day.